Hey there guys, Martine from Matthew Studio. This time I'm coming to you from right inside my bedroom. That's right, I brought the show inside so I could talk about these windows back here. And if it's rocking a little bit, I got this phone mounted to a babysitter and a Noga arm. Uh, awesome, Matthews pieces of gear, but they're on my bed. So if I move, the frame moves a bit. Actually, it doesn't seem to be rocking that bad. Anyhow, just wanna let you know, it's me, not you. Uh, so these windows, why am I gonna talk about them? Because Richard Mall. Key Grip Extraordinaire, one of my favorite people in the world, shared with us an awesome little video last week about how to apply neutral density gel to windows. What is neutral density gel? It's like putting sunglasses on the window. It's a gel that just dims down the intensity and the brightness without really affecting the color, without really affecting anything except the brightness. So you're putting shades on the window. Uh, there's 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.9, 1.2, all different densities of it. Uh, for whatever you're trying to do. A car just went by. Look it, it's not just a backdrop. That's really outside of my house. My little street, Poppy Peak, it's so beautiful. Anyhow, on with the post. So these windows don't have gel on them. This one has nothing on it, and you can tell it's totally blown out out there. But over here, we got a little bit of something. We have a little bit of blue in the sky. Why? Because we're looking through a net. That's right. This is a double, and this is a single net. What is a net? It's bobbin net stretched on a frame. And if it has a green webbing around it, that's a single and there's one layer of it. That's what I have covering this window pane right here. Up here, we have blue in the sky. Uh, and the only reason we can see that blue is because we have two layers of that net that have been sewn together on one frame. And uh, that has red webbing around it. So we're looking through two layers of bobbin net up here. And over here, uh, that's just totally blown out sky. We're looking at the same sky, but this one's totally blown out because there's nothing there. That's just freshly clean bedroom window. I don't know how long it had been since I'd cleaned it, but hey, it's looking good. But anyhow, totally blown out because there's no net. Double net right there, and there's, you know, a little bit darker green. And then down here, a little brighter green because it's only looking through a single, but you can tell it's doing something. So if I move here, you can see the webbing of my 4x4 road flags kit right there. That's my road flags 4x4 with a, a single net in it. Up here it's a 2x3 from my road rags 2 kit and that's a double net. I have its buddy right here to show you what I'm talking about. This is a single because it's a green webbing with one layer of the bobbin net. There it is. Bobbin net. It's so cool. And what does the frame look like in the road rags kit and the road flags kits? Well the road rags kit there's the RR for road rags. Boom. They're like tent poles. They're really cool. They're really strong. They're really lightweight, but they're uh, robust. And they have this cool elastic in there, just like your tent poles would. And your heavy duty camping gear, that snaps right into there. And then this guy will do the same thing. Sorry, I'm so close, but I'm sitting on my bed. Here, I can lean back. Look at that. Boom. That's a two by three flag. Looks pretty big here because of the way the camera angle is. But check it out. Right here, we can just slide that guy directly onto your tent pole. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other end. I'm looking at you through a net. Here we go. Just bend it over, slide it directly on there. Boom. I have this whole thing. Now I have these little snaps to be able to pull it tight because that's something you really want to be able to do. If you're going to be looking through these guys, uh, you're going to want it to be very tight or else you're going to see a bouquet or you're going to see a wrinkle of bouquets when you see like little waves and you're going to be able to, to tell that you're looking through it. These over here, oh look at it, corrected, there we go. These over here are pulled very tight so you don't see any of the waves in it. Um, and also, another tip, make sure they're shaded. If sun is hitting the net, you might end up seeing that net. So make sure if you're going to be looking through a net, that you have it shaded, if you, that you put a cutter over it or put it underneath the gable or the awning of the home so that it is blocked by the sun. As soon as the sun hits it, you're going you're gonna to be more likely to be able to see it. Okay, so that's really important. A lot of times nets are used just to bring down light. They put them, uh, we put them in between a subject and the light to be able to bring it down just a little bit. Sometimes you just want to give someone a haircut. It's too hot on the top of their head, so you take the net in between the light, it has this open end over here, so you're not going to see a big piece of webbing, you know, shadowing right here. But you'll, you'll put the, I have a light right over me. Let's see if this works. There, we just brought down the intensity up, 
down so you can see the intensity changing on my face. That's because I'm putting a net in front of the in front of the light, in between the light and me, the subject. Uh, the single net brings it down around a stop. The double net brings it around two stops. Uh, and and that's what I have to say about nets. Once again, nothing over here. You can see the webbing from my four x four out there, um, and then the double and the single bobbin net nets. They're really cool. Road rags, road flags. They're portable. They're great. Oh, I have this too to show you. Uh, three of those frames, four even, will fit in this cool portable bag. Uh, inside, you got pockets to keep uh, silks, double net, single net, a silver lame, uh, all different types of textiles, solids uh, to be able to take the show on the road. Grip on the go. I like that hashtag. I might have been the very first person to ever put that down on something. Grip on the go with Matthews. Now stay tuned for a video, an addition to the one that Richard Mall sent last week about gelling the windows. It's about how to seam those guys together. A really awesome trick, a really wonderful way to be able to gel very large windows that are larger than the width of your neutral density ND roll. So thank you for, for tuning in uh, and check it out. More comments, more questions, share with your friends. Uh, thank you so much and we'll see you again soon. Take care of each other. I wanted to take a second to show you guys what it looked like on the other side of the window. Uh, so I came outside and there we go. That's the Road Rags 2, uh, 2 by 3 double net. And that is on that top pane of glass where we can see the little bit of the blue in the sky. Down here, we have the Road Flags kit. Uh, it's a 4 by 4 portable frame with the single layer of the bobbin net. That's a single net with a green webbing around it. And then there's a window that had nothing on it, except for right now, a beautiful reflection of my really pretty trees. All right, guys, I just want to share that with you, show you what it looked like on the other side of the window. And now on to Richard Mall's video, showing you how to seam together the two pieces of ND gel. Thank you so much. See you on the next post. Hey, everyone out there at uh, Matthews University. Um, this is a little addendum to uh... Uh, the video I posted about gelling windows. Um, so someone had asked how you do a larger window um, and uh, um, seams and things like that. So uh, here's a little demo um, from the inside uh, um, and how I cut gel. Um, I basically just roll off as much as I need from the roll and, uh, you know, cut it with my little knife. Um, yeah, you can put a work table out there on a four by eight sheet of plywood or whatever. Um, but uh, I try to, you know, just roll out as much as I need, a little bit more, obviously. So it covers the window. Um, um, then uh, I clean the window and then I spray the gel down with water and make sure it's good and wet. Um, again, this is the same formula water, a little bit of Sprite, a little sugar water, so it's sticky. Um, so I then put the gel on the window and I spray the surface. Now by wetting the surface, what that does is it keeps from scratching the gel also. Um, and so when you want to squeegee across it, it's not going to mar the surface. Um, um, and then uh, I fit it. There's usually one factory edge you can use and I fit it to the edge of the window the best I can. And I cut any excess. Um, you know, I use a little snip, little snap knife uh, it's my my blade of choice and uh, i always make sure i start with a fresh um blade and a fresh tip so here i am trimming um the, uh, the left edge there as you can see it uh, my left edge um then um i'm going to trim the bottom and uh so um yeah i then I'm spraying the window and I'm going to run a squeegee down just to kind of clear most of the water out of there. And then we're going to go ahead, just for this demo, I'm going to pretend that uh, this window's uh, four feet further to my, uh, to my right. But, uh, you know, at some point the gel will stop and you need to add more gel. So uh, here you go. Let's pretend that's the end of the roller gel. So I'm going to spray more water. And I'm going to spray the gel, the new piece of gel. Um, 
and I'm going to seam this and I'll show you how you do it. So you overlap it uh, about an inch, um, you know, and then you make sure top and bottom are uh, um, square the way you need it. And, uh, you know, um, here I am moving it around just a little, making sure it fits correctly at the top and correctly at the bottom. Once uh, you have the top and bottom and you're overlapped about an inch, then what you want to do is go ahead and cut both through both pieces of gel and just run a line by hand right down the middle. It doesn't have to be dead straight. You pull the outside bit of gel off and you peel the gel back, take the inside piece, peel it off. And there you go. A little more water so you don't scratch the surface of the gel and run your squeegee down. And then you take a look at things and uh, your seam should be no wider than the width of the blade you're using. Now I, uh, I, I, I pulled the bottom off a little too quickly. Uh, I didn't cut all the way through so here I'm fixing a little problem. Um, you know, give it another spray and um, wipe it down and away you go. Now you can apply it to the inside or the outside of the window.